What's going on, everybody? Well, guess what we're doing? We're going fishing today, finally on Lake Okeechobee. It's been a minute. It's been. It's actually been a long minute. Clean out our garage, actually. First time in about three years. This thing got out of hand, guys. I ended up buying one of those 40-foot shipping containers. Had it delivered down here at the marina. I took everything out of my garage that didn't have anything to do with fishing. And uh, we're going to reorganize the garage. I got new cabinets. I'm going to put new cabinets in on the wall. We're going to kind of make it look like it's supposed to. But today, we're going to go on Lake Okeechobee. And we've got a couple big tournaments coming up here on the lake here soon. So I want to get out there and kind of check it out. I want to take you guys along. Uh, I think I think the fishing is going to be pretty good. I sh actually, I think. Because it, the, look at the weather. I mean, this is beautiful right now. So we're going to take out a Zaldanger swim bait. We're going to catch them on hopefully a chatter bait. And maybe even a big top water like a big walking bait of some sort. So we're also going to be checking out some of these new rods. I've been, you know, obviously trying all these different new models of rods uh, that Luz has. Between the custom lights and the Elite Series, of course the reels, they have such a wide range of different reels. I mean, check these things out, guys. We've got this one here, which I didn't put any line on this one yet, but I guess I probably need to, because it's not gonna work real well, but that's a high speed nine to one. You got the Custom Light, which is the one we've been fishing with probably the most. That's a beautiful little setup right there. And uh, I've got the Elite Series Lose right here. I haven't fished with this one yet. So I'm super excited about these rods. Here's the deal, guys. Um, here's what I'm excited about with those rods and the reels. First of all, quality. Number two, I have all the options that I need. I have, like I literally have every action. And in fishing, especially in tour level stuff, having those extra little perfect actions is super important, okay? So we'll talk more about that as we fish. I'm again, learning the whole system. I'm learning all these different rods, uh, but I'm really, really excited about the whole lose combination here. Um, super excited. So most excited I've been in a long time. I get to fish with some rods that have just lots of different actions, lots of different applications. And the actions are true. Just a lot of good things. So we'll get into that as we fish. But that being said, uh, let's run down. I've got a good buddy who's gonna jump in the boat with us named Charlie Weir from Mount California. He fished on the uh, FLW tour for quite a while as well. He's down here guiding for us here at our, at our marina. And uh, we're gonna go out and see if we can't uh, snag up a few. Let's go. All right, guys, well, we're in the water finally. Got my buddy Charlie Weir. Charlie's from the West Coast. He's been guiding down here on Okeechobee for a couple years now. And uh, it's our first time in the boat. We fished against each other for all those years on FLW. He's been a touring pro for many years. And and uh, during the winter time, you come down here and hang out. Yeah, it's like the, the winter time, it's, it's awesome down here. The fishing's good. And uh, it's, it's great to get out of the north where it's snow. And we get down here and have fun and wear shorts and sandals. Absolutely. We'll Catching fish, it's a big one. I've been catching some here and then more, more over there lately. This thing casts really good, boy. Yeah, I just started switched over to lose. Chin. In the chinny chin chin. Dude, I stopped it and he smoked it. There we go. This is my first bass on this rod. This is a 7-3. Look at that. I hit him in the chin. I wonder if I like snagged him. I don't even know if he hit the. But you know, I had another bite a minute ago. One slapped it. Right there. Not a real big one, but. Chatterbait. Love you, dude. Love you, dude. All right, so here's the rod. Again, I don't know how today's video is going to end up being, but I will, I'm going to talk about these rods for a second. This is, forgive me for not knowing whose signature that is, but it's a bunch of scribbly, scrabbly stuff. I don't know whose that is, okay? I don't know. But it's a 7.3 medium heavy, and this is a perfect chatterbait rod. Absolutely perfect. 
Got one? <laughs> Perfect right there. That's a carbon light reel. And um, it feels good. I've just, it, these are nice. These are nice. ask yourself what size chatterbait to throw is it a three-eighths or a half like what do you do and so typically you know, it's all about depth and all about the type of cover that you're fishing so if it's getting down too much and getting snagged and hitting stuff too many times I'm gonna go to a three-eighths you want to be able to just barely kind of tick the stuff down there on the bottom so that's how you pick out the size go, go you want it down closer to the bottom especially this time of the year Left them last time I was out here. There we go. Slapping at it, man. It's very cool. There we go, guys. It's a nice, that's yeah, an average size bass here for Okeechobee. The tournaments have been taken anywhere between, I mean, tournaments in the last four or five years really have taken anywhere between 28 to 32, 33 pounds to win. And so you can catch five of these and you'll come in last. But, but when you catch a nice, that's a pretty fish. You can see it's just a clean fish. There's no marks on him. That's just a clean, nice, healthy, thick fish. There's bigger ones around. When you catch fish this size, those two and three quarter, three pound fish, you're gonna, you're gonna stumble into a five or six or an eight or a nine for sure. So that's cool. And caught one on this other rod right here. We'll talk about that here in a second. It's a seven three as well, pretty nice. So cool. All right, guys, I want to take a quick second and say that this video you're watching is sponsored by our good friends at Helix Sleep. And I love Helix so much. They love me so much. They decided to be a sponsor of not only this video, but several videos this year. So we're super excited about that. Let me tell you something, guys, about mattresses. This is the real thing. Everybody needs one, first of all. Number two, there's a million choices out there. Getting a good night's sleep is something that's very important to me. As I've gotten older, I don't know why, you would think as you get older, you sleep better. But as you get older, you kind of don't sleep better. I don't know if it's just more things going on in the world and in your life, but I need to sleep good. And I'll tell you, since making the switch to Helix, that has done that for me. And getting up early in the mornings, working out, getting up, going fishing, doing all the things that I do, um, being rested, feeling good, where I don't have body cramps and body aches is a big deal for me. Now, here's the beautiful thing about Helix sleep, guys. First of all, the days of going to a mattress store and trying to pick out a different mattress at a store, trying to figure out which store to go to or what brand of mattress to buy is over. Helix Sleep will deliver your mattress to your door in a box. I don't know how they get it in the box, but they get it in a box and you take it into the room, you cut it open and the box opens up and this beautiful mattress pops out, guys. And it's that easy. Now, choosing one is just as easy. Helix also has a sleep quiz and it's very simple. You get on your phone or get on your computer, answer a few simple questions on how you like to sleep, what kind of mattress you prefer, firmness, all these different things. And it is gonna curate an answer for you on what they recommend for the mattress of your choice. And I tell you what, for me, they hit it spot on. I like to sleep on my side and I like a medium to firm mattress. And that's exactly what I went with. I not only love Helix mattresses here for my house, but we went ahead and put Helix mattresses in our Tuscaloosa property as well on all the beds. And we're getting ready to finish out the property down in the Keys. So we're gonna have all of our mattresses Helix sleep going forward. And I tell you what, I'm super excited about that. Now, as they're a sponsor of this video, they wanted to pass on uh, some great savings to you. So if you're in the market for a mattress, check out the link right here Helix Sleep forward slash Scott Martin. You're gonna save 20% off on your next mattress and you're gonna get a couple free pillows along the way, which is awesome. Here's the other thing. 
There's a 10 year guarantee on this mattress, guys, so you can sleep easy. Also, you get a 100 night sleep trial, so you can test the mattress out, see if you like it, and if you don't, you get a hold of the great folks at Helix and they're gonna take care of that for you. So this thing is a, there's not a better offer out there. So check out Helix Sleep, check out their mattresses, take the sleep quiz, guys and uh, start sleeping good. So that's that. Thank you Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. And we're gonna jump right back into the one that we're watching. Appreciate all the support guys. fish at about 100 yards right through here and it looks like we're fishing open water that's cool that's, that's a new a, trailer gambler that, trailer that's a gambler trailer three eighths ounce or no it's a half ounce uh chatterbait mm -hmm. jackhammer mm -hmm. golden shiner nice little bass cool been catching them like this a little bit better mm -hmm. all winter well, i think they're looking at this video they're thinking like well they're just out in open water well you can see the, the reeds but there's all types of stuff under the water and that's the beauty of this area right here so it doesn't matter where you cast, you have a chance of catching a fish because it's just nothing but sticks and cattails and all kind of stuff on the bottom. If, these fish are all crew. I just heard one bust. If you look at these reed heads, last year those were everywhere through here real thick and now they're flipped upside down and they make a hard bottom and they're spawning that hard bottom. Yeah. And usually it's all silted in, mm -hmm. but with that it makes a hard bottom for those fish to spawn on down here and that's what we're catching all those fish off of. God, that's a big, oh, oh, big oh, one. Dude. Big one. Look at him. Oh, oh, big, 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 that was a five pounder. Dude, at the next cast, you're like, there he is. <laughs> you caught him quick. Uh. Oh, there you go. Oh, God, God. Good. I don't know if he's big, big or what, dude, but he feels <laughs> big. There you go. Turned around, we came back to that zone and instantly got bit. There we go, baby. These things fight hard. I mean, that is that right there to me. It's just a you know two and three quarter pound fish. Literally fought. Like you think you got a seven or eight pounder on? Yeah, easy. All the sticks under there. It's just cool. It's fun. These the bass on Okeechobee. They fight hard. I know a lot of people have been, you know, hearing us talk about the lake condition and the grass reduction and the high water and all the different things that we deal with. And that's something we were always fighting for. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this lake's huge and there's always places to fish. So as you read the articles and hear us complaining about this and that, rest assured there's plenty of places to catch bass on Lake Okeechobee. So come down and hang out and enjoy it because there are some big ones being caught the last couple of years and it's just a lot of fun. I mean, you can catch them so many different ways. And, uh, but we are, we're gonna keep fighting. You know, we're gonna, we need to get vegetation. We need to get the proper water level back in the lake. We need to uh, put some projects in the lake to build up some more habitat, some restoration. So uh, those are all things we're fighting for. But, but again, it's a big lake and there's tons of good water to still fish. Tons of good water. All right, this rod right here is the Lose 7-2 Power Heavy. Okay, earlier I was still on the Chatterbait on that Medium Heavy, which is, in my opinion, the perfect Chatterbait rod. This one's a little stiffer, probably a little too stiff for everyday use with the chatterbait, but in here on Okeechobee with all the grass down there, it's actually not a bad option. It keeps those, allows you to get those fish up out of that, out of that junk. But this rod feels great, it's balanced well. I wish, you know, through the, the camera, you could feel how the thing feels, but you can't obviously. So I can just tell you that this thing is balanced properly. This reel is the Lose Elite TI. And um, I mean, I've only fished with a couple of these reels so far, the custom lights, and this one and they've been fantastic right out of the box fantastic they feel good they sound good drags are great i'm super impressed with this little setup right here this is 17 pound p-line fluorocarbon uh, on this rod and uh it's good to go one of the things i love 
about all the loose reels is this little dial right here that you can set your your pound test of your line. You turn this little dial right here around and you can do 15 pound line, you put on 15, you got 40 pound braid, you put on 40. And so that way you know, and that's a big thing for me. A lot of times I'm like, oh man, is this 15 or is this 17 or is this 17 or 20? I always forget, but now you can set it and you know what's on there. So uh, super impressed with this stuff. I'm gonna keep talking about all these rods uh, a lot this year, trying to educate you guys on the proper ones for certain things, because here's a great thing about Luz. They have so many different rods uh, for every application and every price point. This one right here is a very expensive combo. This is probably one of their top of the line ones, but they have really great stuff that's $100. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh, I got one. Let me, I don't know if it's a big one or not. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Jump, dude. Biggin. I got my phone in my hand. <laughs> Put it up. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Look at that big old, big old bass right there, bro. Look at that big old bass. That's a big old bass right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. Dang. <laughs> there we go. Now, here's what we did we turned around. And we came back through this little area where these fish were and uh, bam. And this is exactly where I caught that two and three quarter pounder a few minutes ago. And I said, you know, that's the size fish that if you just keep milling around in those areas, you'll come across a big one. And that's exactly what happened. That good size two and three quarter pound fish, three pound fish. There's big ones in the area. Dude, that, that's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Big, big fish of Lake Okeechobee. Anytime you guys want to come down, come catch them, come on. That's awesome. That's nice. Dude, how about that? <laughs> All right, this one here is a lose. It's called a Hyper Mag, which is same kind of body as that Elite TI, um, but it's a Hyper Mag. So it's, it feels a little lighter. I don't, I don't know if it is or not, but it's a, just a good feeling reel. This rod is a custom light. And what I like about the lose setups is that they actually have rods that are specifically designed for certain things. Like this one here is a 7.2 Power Heavy but it's a frog rod because the model number is CL, which is carbon light, heavy, which is H, FR, frog rod. So this is a frog rod. And when I look at a frog rod, I want a frog rod that's not too long, but yet still has some tip to it, but a lot of backbone. And that's what this has right here. So this rod is going to be perfect for like your popping frogs and your regular frogs. Now, not like Gunnersville frogs, like we're over big mats, but like open water frog fishing, like we do here on Okeechobee around the grass. You know, just your normal type stuff. This 7.2 is a really, really good setup for that. I do like a high-speed reel for my frog fishing. This is an 8.3. And when I rig that up, I'm going to put that on some 40 and 50-pound braid. I don't like the 65 on the frogs as much. That 40 and 50 allows that frog just to kind of a little more subtle. It gives a little bit more movement. Those legs and those little tentacles will kind of undulate a little bit better with that little bit lighter line. But uh, it's a great little setup right there. I'm super excited about this thing this year. So if you really are looking for a good frog rod, I'm telling you right out of the gate, this thing right here is an awesome setup. Hyper Mag Lose Custom Light Frog Rod 7-2. That thing's sweet. Factory show right now, it's really, they're, they're gonna have a whole bunch of 30 pound plus bags there, like here, in like May. It's really turned on. Drag is all jacked up. Frog rod, baby. Frog rod, baby. Ooh, that one, another one, dude. Another one, bro. Look at that thing. Whoa. That one. Dude. 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 Bro. Dude. Look at that biggin. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Frog fishing in January. Gone. Gone. All right, he's bleeding. I'm gonna put him back. Okay. Sweet dude. Another good one. Another good one. Yeah. He left them right where they were. All right. So, so far testing out rods today. We've caught a big one on the seven three. 
we caught another big one on the 7-2 heavy and then we've caught a big one on this frog rod which again this little combo right here sweetness Get the sucker. You got him. You got him, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that got him right there. <laughs> Catch him on Okeechobee, brothers and sisters. Loving it. Got me shaking. Top water in January. Yeah. I yeah, thought it was bigger than that, but still pretty, pretty good. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Look at that. Thank you, man. It was good. It was good time. <laughs> we, we literally went out for like an hour and a half. Okay. You saw what we caught. That's what we caught. Another good one there. One real big one. He lost another big one. We had a couple more good chunks. That's just in like one little zone right here. So 75 yard zone. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely come down. Uh, come down to Okeechobee. Roll Martin Marina. Hook up with Charlie. He's a guide here on the lake. He fishes all over the thing. And uh, yeah, big shout out, dude. Thank you again. Yeah, thank appreciate you it very thank much. You. And thank it. you, Luz, for making awesome stuff. Again, we're going to talk about rods and reels all year long um, because I got so many of them. But really impressed with this stuff right here and impressed with these fish too. So we'll see you guys. See you guys. Have a good one. Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs>